a frigid night, Shane. Nice to see a little warmer air coming in this afternoon. Yeah, it's a little bit warmer out there. We were very chilly this morning. Yeah. And uh, that warmer air is actually going to continue to come in through the overnight tonight. So temperatures, they'll dip a little bit right around sunset. And then they actually should start increasing right around midnight or so. Mm. So that's going to be a little different. Not going to complain about that. Nope. <laughs> Pretty nice uh, afternoon ongoing across the mountains. Let's take a look outside our front porch at the WYMT studio. You can see uh, plenty of blue sky, just a few clouds out there. A similar shot down at the Weather Service office in Jackson, where it is currently 32 degrees. As we take a look at the time lapse over the last six hours, it's been a gorgeous day. Not just there, but most of the region. Here's part of the reason. Notice pressure rising. High pressure moving in, high pressure brings us nice weather. And it's going to be with us for another day or so before our next storm system moves in. Pinpoint Doppler, dry as can be right now. And those temperatures, they're cool, but they're not unbearably cold. 34, Somerset, London, Harlan, 38, Middlesbrough, or high should be in the low 40s this time of year. So uh, we're just a little bit below average. Now you factor in the wind, it is feeling a little cooler. There's not much of a breeze out there, but when it does kick up, it'll cut right into you. 27, current wind chill, London 26, Jackson 34 into Harlan, 24 into Wise. Let's break down that evening forecast for you. Dry and through about nine o'clock, the temperatures will be falling. Just a few clouds out there, but once we move past midnight, the wind starts to come out of the south and that'll start ushering in some warmer temperatures. Now off to our north, there's that storm system we told you about earlier, bringing all that snow up to the Great Lakes region, that second Alberta clipper moving through the region. Well, it's not going to affect us here in eastern Kentucky. You can see plenty of cold air with it, but off to the south, 44 Nashville, 47 Huntsville, some of that warmer air starts filtering in here in the next few hours. Here's a look at future view to map that out for you. We take you through the overnight tonight, drop a little bit, and then we move past midnight, and you notice those thermometers start coming up. We should be into the low 30s tomorrow morning, about the time you head out the door. 50s with sunshine in the afternoon. That is going to feel amazing. I am looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, then we go into Friday. Clouds will thicken up throughout the day. Late in the day, a few showers uh, roll into the region as high as top out into the 50s. And then that rain could actually turn to a little bit of snow by a Saturday afternoon as temperatures will be falling throughout the day. In fact, uh, the thermometers drop quite a bit going into early next week. Snow chances on Sunday and Monday. And Steve, I may be a little optimistic on those temperatures Monday and Tuesday. I have lows in the teens, mm. but uh, some of the computer models are saying single digits possible. So we'll just mm. keep adjusting that forecast. But it looks like a, a true Arctic chill is heading our way next week. I guess enjoy the, the warmer shot while it lasts. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Shane.